Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. As you can see, I've moved into my new home. But all the boxes are still here, because downstairs the floor is completely up, because they have to do some repairs there. So all my furniture is currently on the first floor. But that doesn't stop me to start showing you my new series, How to Decorate a House on a Budget. In this new series, I'm going to show you, you don't have to spend a fortune to really make your house your home. I'm going to show you, over the next couple of months, how I'm going to turn this outdated, worn out house into a modern, really cozy home. Big projects are going to be cut up in smaller segments, say in a three or four parter. And today I'm going to start with the smallest room in the house, the toilet. Part one and how to update a very ugly toilet into something cool and contemporary. Ta-da! Here you go, my very plain and very boring toilet. That's a trick because it got a loo in it, but it could be a little bit more exciting. The walls are very plain, very boring, it's all white and it's got a very ugly laminate floor. But today I'm going to show you how we can turn these walls into something way cooler and more unique. We're going to start by dividing the wall into two pieces, a top and a bottom. We're going to do that by applying moulding. I'm using a very cheap D-shaped moulding that I cut to size and we're gonna glue it with a bit of strong glue like no more nails onto the wall. Apply the glue to the back of your molding. I'm gonna use my tiles as a measuring guide how high you're gonna put my molding, but otherwise make sure you're just slightly underneath the middle of your wall. Also make sure you have it nice and level. So use a spirit level to make sure your molding is on nice and straight. Now do the same with the other walls. So while waiting for the glue to dry, we're going to prep the room for painting. Unscrew any of the fittings and make sure the walls are nice and clean. Okay, for me this screw doesn't want to budge, so I'm just going to leave it here and I'm going to tape this over so it doesn't get covered in paint. And tape up everything you don't want to get covered in paint. So it's going to be the sink, in my case a toilet roll that doesn't want to come loose, skirting boards and around windows. But now all is prepped, it's time to start painting. And we're going to put a colour just underneath the moulding, so on the lower bit of your wall. I chose a really nice blue, it's called Hollywood and it's from Crown. Sometimes it pays off to look around the bargain corner in your DIY shop, because this paint was on half price, only because there's some dents in the tin and it's a little bit rusty on top. But I don't care what the bucket looks like, as long as the paint inside is good, I'd rather have a bargain. So I gave the paint a good stir and now it's ready to start painting. I'm using a small brush for the moulding. Don't worry if you get a little bit of paint on here because it's going to be wallpapered later. And I'm using a bigger brush for the rest of the wall. You could use a roller, but I prefer using a paintbrush. You probably have to do two coats of paint, but make sure the first coat dries completely before you apply the second coat. I would normally always use a specialized tile paint to paint tiles, but as I only have three tiles here in the toilet, I'm going to use the same wall paint as I'm using here. I'm going to give it two, maybe three coats, and when it's completely dry, I'm going to varnish it with a clear gloss. I haven't got a clear how it's going to hold up, but I'm going to keep you posted. So while we're waiting for the paint to dry, let me show you what we're going to do with the top of the wall. And for that you need loads of magazines cuttings. I love reading magazines, and I keep a lot of magazines on hand, pictures I like, I just tear them out and put them in a big box. And that comes in very handy for projects like this, because what we're going to do, you're going to wallpaper the top bit of the wall with magazine cutting. These pages that are roughly the same colour, I chose a little blues, some greens and a couple of oranges. And what you're going to do, you're going to cut these the same size. I made a template out of cardboard, place them on the paper, trace them around and cut it out. So all my pieces of paper are roughly the same size. We're going to wallpaper the wall and then simply stick these on. I'm using a tub of ready-made wallpaper paste and it's slightly easier with projects like this. Take a big brush, apply the wallpaper paste to your wall, simply stick on your first piece of magazine paper. Make sure it lines up very nicely on the edging you put on. And then with your brush, just make sure you go over it so it adheres correctly. There you go! Now just another 100 pieces to go. Once you have several pieces on the wall, use a clean wallpaper brush to smooth out any air bubbles. You will be getting little air bubbles in your paper as this paper is just quite thin and the wallpaper paste makes it wet. If you don't like that look, you have to go for a way heavier paper. I don't mind having little bits in there. You just smooth them out with your wallpaper brush 
as good as you can. When you have to cover something that has a little corner or something sticking out, like here the windowsill, you simply put your paper in place, press it down, and where it hit the windowsill, just simply snip a little bit in with your scissor, press down, and do the same on top. Simply cut it, press down, and then you kind of cut away this little bit of extra. And smooth the paper down. You might want to give it a little bit of paste on top, so just so it sticks down. And you just keep cutting and pasting until your whole wall is filled with magazine pieces. And now it's time to take away your masking tape and by putting the accessories back in place. And this is half the transformation done. Next week I'm going to show you how we can tackle the floor, the skirting board and add fun accessories to make this toilet look even better. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Handmade Home brings you a new craft tutorial every Thursday.